Welcome to the Stacked Supplement Podcast, the premier source for supplement news and reviews. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of the Stacked Supplement Podcast, where we go over all of the top and exciting stories shared on our website, stack.com, or as some like to say, stack3d.com. And from the past seven days, uh, as per usual, the week was just loaded with news and excitement. Um, I hope you were all following, but we are going to recap all of the excitement in this episode. We're going to kick it off with uh, the guys over at Myoblox. Now, Myoblox has been an exciting brand that we've followed for, I don't know, a long time now. It's been a while, but um, they've just continued to deliver exciting products, exciting new releases. In fact, this year, they've done incredibly well. Uh, I think it was, they, they, they kicked it off the year with the XO series, if you remember. I think it revealed the XO series, which is a limited edition line of of uh, products um, that they do, I believe it is every year. Uh, this isn't the first time we've seen the XO series. Uh, did, they did that earlier in the year, and then they announced um, the uh, their more basic, an entirely new, more basic product with Omega, which is, of course, a... Uh, an omega-3 formula, a vegan-friendly one, though, and then they followed that up with another limited edition series um, with the release of limited edition uh, Rainbow Haze Loco and Gorilla Juice Illa. Or Illa, I don't, I'm not sure how to pronounce that one, but that's their uh, their amino. Um, this past week, we've got news on just a whole bunch of exciting new products coming from the guys at Myoblox, and uh, no doubt they'll have more limited editions coming down the pipeline as they do quite frequently but this week we got news on uh, a bunch of new products that are not limited editions um, what they are exactly is a new version of blow which is the brand's pump pre-workout uh, stimulant free pump pre-workout then we got news on a new version of contra which is their uh, muscle building formula uh, anti-estrogen muscle building formula and then they also announced joint which is very similar to omega it's a very simple essential style product of course, as per the name, it is formulated to help support your joints. And so that's three new products we have on the way from Myoblox, which is a lot, um, but we don't know entirely when each of those are going to drop, nor do we know uh, exactly what's in these products. Um, Blow, for example, of this, all they've said is it's going to feature a reliable, simple, but well-dosed set of ingredients. Contra is going to be uh, very similar intentions to the last version or the previous contra but with what they with what they're saying is some sort of twist which is interesting because as i said my blocks is always a intriguing exciting brand and joint um is pretty much a, a straightforward joint supplement uh, loaded with ingredients reliable joint support ingredients um so definitely stay tuned for more information on that but you can go to our site and just get pictures and previews of uh, both of the products um and we'll be sharing more details when it becomes available. But as mentioned, uh, Myoblox has been extremely busy this year, and, and, it, and it doesn't look like they're going to be uh, slowing down anytime soon. Um, while on the topic of brands that have just been pumping out uh, um, exciting and interesting new stuff, Core Nutritionals uh, revealed the full formula behind their long-awaited stimulant-free pump supplement, uh, Core Pump. Now, this is going to take a while to explain, but um, basically, if you're a previous fan of Core, um, you may remember they had Core Pump, which is the name of the product they have coming soon, uh, and that was previously a stimulant-free pump pre-workout, primarily designed to enhance pumps, and you could stack it with Core Fury or other stimulant pre-workouts, uh, and it would, the goal would be to add better pumps. Um, the brand also had a product called Core Peak X, and now what that was, it was also a stimulant-free pre-workout. However, unlike Core Pump, this one focused primarily on delivering uh, stronger endurance and performance benefits, um, and that could also be stacked with a stimulant pre-workout such as Core Fury, and it could also be stacked with Core Pump. So if you're a big Core fan, you could have used Fury, Pump, and, and, and Peak X all together for just a truly all-around experience. Um, the new Core Pump, uh, is actually a combination of Peak X and Core Pump. However, it is still going to be just called Core Pump. So Peak X has been discontinued, and the benefits of that product being a stimulant-free pre-workout built for performance has been merged into the new version of Core Pump. So it's very much a hybrid or comprehensive, not even a hybrid anymore. It's a full, all-around stimulant-free pre-workout that you can take for, for, for multiple benefits, more than just pumps, which is what the previous core pump did 
And so the new version, they revealed the formula behind it, and it is indeed a very comprehensive stimulant-free product. Uh, the brand has brought together solid doses of pump ingredients, including uh, 6 grams of pure citrulline, 2.5 grams of betaine nitrate, and solid 2 grams of uh, hydromax glycerol. Um, and as mentioned, there is an infusion of that, that, that Peak X type product uh, with performance ingredients. And so Core has included uh, the Pico 2 performance blend at its uh, clinical and usual 2 grams per serving. And then you also get uh, 3.2 grams of beta alanine. And then to make it just a all-around stimulant-free pre-workout, Core has also put uh, Alpha GPC into the new Core pump to make it not as I said, it's not a hybrid anymore. Not it's not a hybrid. There's two benefits. It delivers uh, on pumps, performance, and focus. So it's truly uh, what you would get in a very comprehensive stimulant pre-workout minus the energy and stimulants, of course. And you can stack this with the regular Core Fury to add those benefits and just sort of make for one hell of a workout. I can imagine. I believe we have this product coming soon, but we're in lockdown, so I can't do shit. But um, I will be <laughs> giving it a good run. Uh, with uh, um, a lot of determination as soon as we come out of this um, you can check it out in detail on the website as the other products we mentioned but um, it's not going to launch I believe and for another two weeks I think it's meant to launch on uh, the fourth of next month so we're exactly two weeks out I'm pretty sure it's two weeks out from today or when this episode goes live uh, and you'll uh, Right when um, the new month comes in, you're about to pick it up. And as per usual, Core will have some introductory deals uh, uh, through their website. And we'll, of course, share that information when it becomes available. Uh, next on the list of uh, interesting new releases, uh, we have the guys over at um, uh, Primeval Labs. They introduced an all-new protein powder. Now, before this year, I think before the start of this year, even before the last couple of months, um, if not, yeah, the last couple of months, Primeval Labs only had the one protein powder in its lineup, and that was Isolate. And Isolate is a premium whey isolate protein powder. Um, very tasty, lean macros like you get with most isolates, uh, great flavors. But um, this year, the company introduced its second protein powder with whey, which is a blend formula. And like with most blend formulas, it's more cost effective than a, than a straight for uh, a, a premium whey isolate. Um, and while the way is very new, I think it launched only within the last couple of weeks, might even be a little longer. Uh, the, 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 the product we're bringing up this time is actually Primeval Lab's third protein powder, which is due to release, I believe, uh, within the next few weeks. Uh, and that's called Steak and Eggs, uh, much like how uh, Primeval Lab's new whey blend has its own point of difference versus isolate. Uh, with a with a premium uh, isolate versus a blend, steak and eggs also has its own point of difference, as you can imagine, um, and it is right in the name. The brand has basically <laughs> brought together um, beef protein uh, and egg protein or egg white protein, so it is truly steak and eggs. Uh, very unique and creative way to market it, but that's what it is. It's beef and egg protein powder mixed into the one. Uh, and it's meant to taste. It's meant to taste amazing. And the macros, I imagine, we pretty lean. Uh, a lot of these, a lot of protein powders are. Uh, we don't know the full details on it just yet, but that's the kind of premise. That's the goal. That's the, that's the idea behind it. And that's launching. I think within the next, I can't remember when it's actually launching. I did know that um, we talked to Primeval Labs, and they they asked if this was the first, if they were the first brand to combine those two ingredients. Because I thought it was just a very interesting idea, and a lot of our fans and followers commented and said the same thing. It was a very cool, intriguing idea uh, to combine those two sources and get with that unique little name. Um, and I and I can't think of anybody, but in my experience uh, of sharing news on the supplement industry for ten years, uh, yeah, I would imagine someone has done it. Um, a lot of brands out there will mix stuff like this. They may not have marketed as well as something. Uh, with the name steak and eggs but i would suspect others had done it um but we'll have more details on that including the macros but as mentioned the whole concept is combination of beef and uh, egg white protein powder uh, behind that one um one of the more interesting trends in fact it's not really interesting so much since we see it a lot um is the two very popular categories that have just burst out uh, in the industry uh, with the whole COVID-19 pandemic um, around the world. 
Um, people are putting a lot of brands have been putting a lot of focus on general health, overall uh, health, uh, immunity supplements, and that has very been, been very heavily driven by greens and dedicated immune supplements. Um, a lot of brands have put together, whether it be something as simple as a vitamin C or just an all-in-one um, immune health supplement. Um, but as mentioned, the other category that we've seen a big rise in is greens. Um, Core Nutritionals is actually launching their one today. Um, and uh, they bought that up. They had planned it for later, but they bought it up as they felt it was more important than other products they had in the pipeline. Uh, and that same goes with other brands that have introduced over the past uh, few weeks. And instead of going over the immune supplements, uh, as I think we've probably seen a lot of those, I thought it would be cool going over some of the the green supplements that we had seen um, just come out of the works and show up. And uh, one of the first ones we've seen is uh, Gaspari Nutrition, who this past week revealed the full formula behind their uh, greens or superfood supplement, which is called Proven Greens and Reds. Um, that one comes with just a, a pr pretty well-rounded combination. You get five grams of greens, two grams of reds, uh, two grams of prebiotic fiber, a gram, uh, a one gram blend of uh, immunity and metabolic ingredients, and there's probiotics in the mix as well for gut health and digestion. Um, you can read more about each of these, as mentioned, on the site. Um, Gaspari is, of course, only one of them. We've also seen uh, Kellen Von Moga's brand, uh, Staunch. They've jumped into the game. They uh, came out with a product called Koala Food. Um, while Gaspari's Proven Greens is still coming, uh, Staunch's Koala Food is now available and on the market. That one comes with uh, 5.4 grams of uh, reds and greens, I think it is. It's a combination of fruits and greens. And then they've also got digestive enzymes in their one as well. Again, I'm going to sound like I'm <laughs> repeating myself, but other big names that have uh, jumped into the fray... Um, Barbell Brigade, which I actually thought was an interesting one. They shared details on their one uh, just this past weekend, and they had already confirmed they were entering into the greens market or superfood market uh, earlier in the week, but they've revealed the formula, and they're going to make it available for pre-order today, uh, today, the day when this podcast goes live. Um, and much like their pre-workout, which is the only other supplement they have, uh, if you're not familiar with Barbell Brigade, they do like a... They, have their own gym and they have a full line of clothing uh, and supplements is just a really kind of new market for them they only launched into it last year if i pretty sure it was mid last year with a pre-workout and it was um they launched it with a limited time pre-order and they're doing the much the same with this one uh their superfood supplement which is called performance greens and uh it's going to be available to pre-order for just 20 uh, sorry 48 hours two days and uh It'll be going live today, but yeah, they revealed their formula behind it this past weekend. And it is quite an interesting formula. Um, as I said, we've seen a lot of immune supplements and we've seen a lot of green supplements these past few weeks. So when I see something kind of different, it, it, it's nice, it's fun, and it's interesting to see different takes rather than, uh, you know, your usual mix of, not usual, but well-rounded mix or something I've seen from another brand. Um, these guys took a uh, rather interesting approach with pretty good combination of um, uh, greens they put together I think it was just short of four grams per serving so not as much as we've seen in other products but a, still a, a reasonably good amount and then they also threw in digestive enzymes of course to help with digestion and then as the name is performance greens they also put performance ingredients in this one which I which is what made it interesting to me uh, instead of doing you know the usual mix of probiotics enzymes uh of course fruits greens immune health ingredients they've put together performance ingredients with greens which i thought again is very interesting and um, they threw together the uh, s7 blend which is uh, probably most common in fact almost always used uh, in pump products um, uh, a lot of pump pre pump stimulant free pump products pre-workouts and so they threw that in their product uh, at uh, 50 milligrams per serving very similar dose as you'd see in pre-workouts with their seven and then they also used a uh, dynamine at 25 milligrams not a huge amount but they put dynamine in there which is an energy and focus ingredient which much like s7 you most typically if not almost always see in pre-workouts and although you do also see it in fat burners as well um, so yeah it's a very interesting performance infusion into the greens category 
um, very different to the many that we've seen, but um, it is, it's definitely a big category right now. Superfood or greens is already an up and coming area of the industry. Um, we've mentioned it several times, how fast it has been growing. And then with COVID-19 uh, and it's unfortunate um, timing, it's uh, brands have just kind of put more effort into it. So I wouldn't say uh, a lot of them had already planned to launch greens products and all of them move them up and a lot of them are just timing it with this so it's uh, it's definitely a cool category to see grow and uh, i guess just continue to grow and, and and i like seeing these uh interesting takes from brands such as barbell barbell brigade um the next story or the last two stories we have both revolve around one of my favorite categories if not my favorite category i guess outside of pre-workouts everybody loves pre-workouts um is functional food so if you are a regular reader of Stacked, you may remember way back at the beginning of the year, we mentioned that Ma- Muscle Farm was coming out with a cheese crisp style snack. Now, if you're not familiar with these, it's, it's essentially just crispy pieces of cheese, uh, very similar to what we had seen from F-Bomb and Keto Crunch, which were delicious. Um, but yeah, they're just crunchy, crispy little pieces made of mostly of cheese and uh, muscle farm had mentioned that they were coming out with one Uh, we didn't really have any more details outside of the name and it was meant to be a very straightforward name with uh, muscle farm uh, protein crisp or cheese protein crisp it was just a very basic name pretty much like when you have a a product called protein bar Uh, and this past week muscle farm finally launched their product about three four months after we first heard about it Uh, and it's now available on their site Um, they come in it's basically a small bag very familiar, very similar to the F bomb, um, Keto Crunch. Uh, it's a small bag of crispy cheese pieces that are keto friendly, high in protein. You get 14 grams of protein in the entire bag, just uh, 10 to 12 grams of fat, which varies on the flavor of which there are two in Parmesan, Parmesan and uh, cheddar. And then uh, it's incredibly low in, ca- in in carbohydrates, as you'd imagine with it being you know heavily made of cheese and keto friendly. You get less than a gram of um, carbs for a total of 150 to 160 calories. Um, the price on this is very different from your typical protein bar, which you see somewhere in the 25 realm. Uh, Muscle Farms website has the uh, the bags of the cheese protein crisp price at 36 dollars for a box of 12. So a little bit more expensive than those uh, those protein bars, but still a, uh, uh, a a relatively good price for an on-the-go functional snack. Uh, and as promised, we have two functional stories to share on this episode. The last one is actually from the uh, candy company Mars. Now, if you're, uh, again, if you're a regular reader of Stack, you would have seen the mountain of Mars releases we've seen from the past uh, few years. It started all the way back in, I can't even remember, it was a while ago, it was a few years ago, uh, and they came out with, Mars came out with a Mars bar protein powder, and then there was like Mars bar protein bars, and then we got flapjacks, and over the years we've seen, uh, there was a Bounty protein bar, there was a Bounty flapjack, there was a Milky Way protein bar, Snickers protein bar, Mars protein bar, Twix protein bar. Uh, and so this past week, details came in on the latest uh, Mars Candy Company snack, uh, and it is an M&M's protein bar. Well, initially I saw this and I was like, holy shit, M&M's is going to be doing what Muscle Farm did with their protein candies, which are insane and taste just like M&M's uh, with a little less sugar and more protein. Um, but it's actually, as I mentioned, it's an M&M's protein bar. So it's not a bag of high protein candies or m M&M, uh, style uh, treats it's a m ms protein bar and while we do know that it has i think it's 15 grams of protein per bar and it's going to be available in two flavors uh two of the, the signature m ms flavors uh chocolate and peanut we don't have any idea as into what it's actually going to taste like and i was very curious as to see how it's going to taste purely because uh, if you the detour they have a protein bar out i think it's their lean protein or something is the name and and that uses m&m's minis and so i'm curious as to know is if this is what we're getting from mars with this authentic m&m's protein bar are we getting a uh, a protein bar with m&m's infused with the bar like the detour one or are we getting a uh, i guess a protein bar that 
may have a, like a, a rainbow candy taste to it and have more chocolate in the chocolate one and more peanut in the peanut one. So I'm very interested to see how this one turns out. And um, the past Mars snacks I've tried, I didn't actually like that much. The 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 uh, I think the recent one, the Snickers high protein caramel or peanut butter, which the limited edition one, that was not bad. But the basic straightforward Mars Snickers, I've haven't been big fans of them i just felt like they were regular protein bars that had i guess a look in a in a similar they didn't really pack that candy flavor that made me feel oh this is like a snickers bar like oh this is a mars bar i just felt like a protein bar i had had with the cool authentic mars snickers uh, branding on it and i th- i'm curious to know and i and really hope that the m&m's one is a little bit different um, I get excited every time <laughs> Mars does this. They did the Twix one. I was excited to try that. Um, actually, I don't think... I don't know, if they did a Twix protein powder. I don't remember that. It wasn't a protein powder. It was a protein powder. Um, I get excited every time they do these. And uh, I always get a little bit let down, if not mostly let down. Because I hope, <coughs> I hope for the original signature treat and get a... Just like I said, a regular kind of experience. Um, but the M&M's one, I will note, is that uh, they have put less protein in there. And in my experience, less protein leads to better flavor, um, you know, better taste. And so I, and I'd be interested to know if, um, you know, that's what they've gone with this route. Because the other uh, Mars protein bars that are out there with like the Snickers and the, 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 uh, the Mars bar, um, they've got 20 grams of protein. So... Uh, I'd be curious to see how this one turns out. Um, m and it's got that classic m and look with the characters, the brand, the logo. So it's going to pop on the shelves and just seeing m and and protein, I feel like it's going to do really well. Uh, much like the, um, the the Snickers and the Mars bars have. Uh, the big question though, obviously, is um, if you're wondering if you're going to see it in the US, I would say no. As far as I know, I haven't heard anything much like the Snickers, the Mars, the Twix, the the Bounty, the Milky Ways. I have not seen any of those in the US. But the ones that are available in the UK and Europe, um, which are the ones I'm talking about and I have been talking about, those have spread to the likes of Canada, Australia. Um, so I wouldn't be surprised. And Middle East as well, I'll mention I've seen them over there. Um, I, I, would, I would suspect this... Uh, these M&M's protein bars to be reaching those same stores and stockists, uh, which doesn't include the US. But hey, you know, it could change, could be different. This might be a big push, but um, you can check out that product on our site as per usual, stag.com or stag3d.com. And thank you for listening. I will also add that uh, we've added, this was purely a feature we added by demand. Uh, People wanted, I guess, a daily update email. Uh, where they could just get the posts from the site sent to their inbox. And so we've introduced this new, we call it Stack Daily. It's basically what it sounds like. If you sign up on the site, if you just go to the main site, uh, you'll scroll through, you'll see a sign up box. And uh, you put your email in there, we'll send you the full uh, list of posts from the past 24 hours from midday to the midday the next day. And it'll just come up in your email and you can click and go there. It's a nice reminder to, to double check the site and uh, just give you a good summary of everything we've shared. Um, so you can check that out. Uh, that's on the site. Just scroll through. But uh, thank you for tuning in and we look forward to having you back next week.